President Akufado today unveiled six different brands of locally assembled vehicles produced by VW Group Ghana Limited. Giving his inaugural speech, the President said he expects the brand being assembled in Ghana will not only be affordable but also be of high quality. He also reiterated his stance on government agencies purchasing locally assembled vehicles produced here in the country. It's gratifying to note that VW is going beyond the beacon to assemble in Ghana other brands, namely Tiguan, Terra, Amora, Gabi, Polo, and Passat. The Volkswagen means the people's car. So I'm expecting that the brands being assembled in Ghana will not only be affordable, but also be of the highest quality. I assure Volkswagen Ghana, the government will continue to support the company in diverse ways to ensure the sustainability and profitability of this venture in Ghana. To this end, the chief of staff of the Office of the President has issued recently a new directive to all ministries, departments, and agencies, and indeed the public procurement authority, to give first preference to the acquisition of locally assembled vehicles where public funds are used to buy vehicles. The Trade Minister, Alan Tremantin, also giving his speech, said the Akufado-led government have sowed the seed of improving the automobile industry in the country. All the major economies of the world have one thing in common. They all have a very vibrant automobile industry. We name them the United States, China, Japan, Germany, France, the United Kingdom, South Korea, India. One thing that they have in common between them is a vibrant auto industry. And if Ghana wants to become a big global player, we must learn from what these other countries have done. And so I believe that, Mr. President, today we are sowing the seed of what potentially could propel Ghana onto the global economic landscape. What is happening today means a lot for us in our economy. Number one, it is going to help reduce our import bill. Ghana, on the average, has an import bill of over 10 billion US dollars per annum. In 2018, our import bill was 12 billion US dollars. And our 30 leading imports constitute about 57% of this amount. Just 30 commodities imports. Now, out of this state, the most significant ones, the top three, is led by the importation of transport vehicles, both passenger and transport uh, goods vehicles. And so there's absolutely no doubt that this effort of the government, together with the private sector, is going to help us save scarce foreign exchange resources. But it goes beyond that. It is also creating an opportunity for us to earn significant amounts of foreign exchange. And it is the foreign exchange that we earn that will stabilize our local currency. And we know that the global trade in the automobile uh, uh, industry is in trillions. Just across from Ghana, the market that is offered by a country like Nigeria alone is significant. So I believe that under the canopy of the African continental future area, this industry is also going to be a major export in the forest. But it also goes beyond that. It is going to create jobs, and not just jobs, but skilled jobs and highly paid jobs. Again, it goes beyond that. It is also going to stimulate the growth of small businesses. The auto industry is one of the most vertically integrated industries globally. You see a, a, a car, a VW car, 
the number of component parts that go into that car is thousands of component parts. And so we have an opportunity of stimulating the growth of our small and medium enterprises to become part of the supply chain of this uh, uh, assembly and manufacturing industry. So that's the um, value of the very first, very, very first. Please do not leave the premises yet. Kindly wait until the president takes his leave of. With the establishment of VW here in Ghana, it is expected more jobs will be created and that's going to reduce the unemployment rate in the country. Reporting for ABC News, Deborah Busumbru.